Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how you can install Topologic Pi inside Rhino 8 and create uh, custom Python nodes that integrate Topologic Pi into your Grasshopper workflow. The main step to follow is to install uh, Topologic Pi in the correct folder. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, I will start by closing uh, Rhino and Grasshopper. And what you need to do is uh, find uh, the following folder here. So let's go ahead and uh, start with uh, going to your home folder. Sorry, let's uh, go ahead here, see uh, users, obviously, and uh, in my case, it's called Wasim J. So go to your home folder. Inside this home folder, if you have installed uh, Rhino 8, you should have a folder called uh, .rhino code. So let's go ahead and uh, cd to .rhino code. And then let's do a dir on it so that we can list the uh, contents. So as you can see here, uh, in this case, I have uh, two folders. One is a Python 2.7, which we should not use. We should ignore that one. And another one called Python 3.9-rh8. That's the one that we want. Now, if they upgrade later on to Python 3.10 or 3.11 or 3.12, uh, this name might change. But basically, anything with 3 at the, in, in it is the one that you want. So I'm going to cd into Python 3.9-rh8. And then also list the directory here. Uh, so you have a lot of files here. What you want is a folder uh, called scripts. So let's go ahead and find that. I'm trying to find it here. Uh, so cd scripts, and there it is. So dir into that. Uh, and in here, uh, we want to run the pip3 command. Uh, now, I think these are aliases. I'm not 100% sure, but the one that I ran is pip3.9.exe, which I know this is what, what we need. So let's go ahead and run that. So we run pip 3.9.exe. You put a space and then you type the word install. And then you put a space and then you type the word topologic pi. Be careful that it is all lowercase and one word. And it's not topologic, it's topologic pi. So there's a py at the end. And it doesn't hurt to put a minus minus upgrade. Uh, if you have it installed and you want to like upgrade it to the new version, minus minus upgrade would uh, force an installation or an upgrade for you. So you hit return and you let that install. In my case, everything has been installed already, so you can see a lot of requirement already satisfied. Uh, but basically, it installs Topologic Pi in the correct site packages folder uh, inside your Rhino folder, inside your .rhino code folder. And that's really all we need now to uh, get uh, Topologic Pi installed. Hopefully it will all work well. I have seen some issues with uh, IFC Open Shell not working, which is a dependency on Topologic Pi. But in the new version, I made it optional. So it gives you a warning, but it shouldn't fail unless you try to use a method that needs it. And obviously, if it's not installed, that method will fail. Uh, but it should work. Uh, in any case, uh, let's go ahead and start uh, Rhino 8. And I will open uh, test 01 that I had from before. And I will uh, launch Grasshopper. I will open up uh, test 01 as the definition. Great. So here you see uh, several nodes that we uh, that I have created. Uh, let's start with a simple one, uh, vertex by coordinates. Uh, so if I double click, this, the, let me first say that um, these nodes are Python 3 nodes. So if you look for uh, Python 3 scripts nodes. This is the node that I'm creating. I just changed its name and the inputs. So let me double click this one and just show you how it works. So 
it's very very simple um, I import the library very much like I would do in Jupyter Notebook or any other Python editor so from topologicpy.vertex I import vertex and then I just make sure that if X Y and Z you know the three inputs here uh, if they are not connected they would be none so if they are none I just assign them a default value of zero and then I create a vertex uh, by coordinates so vertex dot by coordinates x y z and then I save it in a variable called vertex which matches this name here and that's how I get my topologic vertex output uh, I use this vertex as an input to another uh, Python 3 custom node and I call that cell.prism and this one just creates a box uh, this one takes a, an origin which is a vertex takes a width, a length and a height and also takes a placement string in this case I'm placing it at the bottom so let's open that up and see what that looks like so you'll notice it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's the same thing uh, you import the libraries that you need uh, you import vertex and you import cell and then if the values are not uh, connected you give them some default values and then you basically call the cell.prism method from topologicpy and you give it all these inputs in order to create a prism again this variable matches uh, the output here and that's how you get a topologic cell now lastly uh, we need to convert this into something that will display inside uh, Grasshopper or inside Rhino. Um, I, for now, this is very, very basic. Uh, there's a lot of work to do here, but I just wanted to be able to see the geometry just to make sure that it's working. So I've decided to create a mesh, a, a Rhino geometry mesh out of this uh, input topology. So again, I created another uh, custom Python node called the topology.geometry to match like what we have in, Py, in topologic pi and if I open this up uh, basically I'll show you what, what it does um, basically I, the first thing I do with the input topology is that I triangulate it because this method does not handle B wraps, does not handle holes and faces obviously this is all possible and we should be able to do that in the future uh, but basically I triangulate it and then I get the geometry of it. So topology.geometry is a uh, topologic pi uh, method that converts the topology into a mesh structure basically. So D is a Python dictionary and as you can see here it has the vertices, the edges and the faces. In this case I'm ignoring the edges so just don't pay attention to those. Uh, but the vertices are basically lists of XYZ and the faces are uh, list of in, uh, integers that kind of point into the list of vertices <coughs> so the next step is that I create um, Rhino geometry point 3d out of those and uh, the list of faces can stay the same because that's compatible and I give it a function called create mesh and I give it the vertices the edges and the faces but as I said the edges are being ignored at this point so in this function I create a Rhino geometry mesh I add the vertices to it these are the point uh, 3d I add them one by one and then uh, I add the faces again assuming they are already triangulated so I'm adding the first three elements of the face uh, which are integers as I said pointing into the list of vertices and then I unify the normals so that it looks closed if it is a closed mesh it looks correct and then I return it so let's go ahead and see how this works let me just close it and um, let's move this a little bit to the side here and zoom it out and get this here over here so uh, right so let's go ahead and uh, change let's say the Y change the Z so you can see here and once we are happy with it we can go ahead and bake it with the name and my computer is a bit slow well, let me 
let's see, did I make it correctly? Here we go. And I can move it away, and you can see that's the kind of the triangulated box. Uh, I did the same thing for a torus. So same thing, it takes an origin, in this case it takes a major radius, which is the outer radius, and then the minor radius is the radius of the actual profile here. Uh, so let's take a quick look at that. Again, very similar process. You import the libraries that you need, uh, in this case vertex and cell. Uh, if they are not connected, you give them default values, and then you use that to call cell.torus. Uh, and you from the API you can find the documentation for how to call a cell.torus and you save it in a uh, variable that is you know the output here and it's, it happened to be called prism you could call it torus or whatever you want so let's go ahead and uh, create one from scratch so that you can see the process so I'm going to go ahead and search for uh, python3 script and in this case, I'm going to create a uh, an icosahedron. So cell dot uh, ico, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to uh, change this output variable to ico. And then, in terms of input, I'm going to get the origin and the radius only. So I'm going to change this to uh, origin. And I'm going to change this to radius uh, to see how that would work. And I can copy maybe these, put them here. So I will give it this as an origin. I will give it uh, this as a radius. And let's go ahead and start uh, creating this script. So let's get rid of the default text that shows up and uh, let's import the needed classes. We need the vertex and topologicpy.cell import cell. Again, we'll do the same thing. Uh, if origin equals equals none, uh, we make it placed at the origin, so vertex.origin, and then if radius equals equals none, then we make the radius to be 0 0.5, so that it gives us a unit uh, icosahedron. Okay, so now what we need is we to say ico is equal to cell.icosahedron, and then origin equals oops origin equals origin and radius equals radius now it has more um, inputs but uh, or variables or parameters um, but for now we're just making it very simple like this so let's go ahead and run it and let's do a, uh, a panel on it and let's just check what it looks like. Yep, it's a cell. So we now can take exactly the same topology.geometry node and move it over here and give that to it. And you can see that we have an icosahedron object here. So let's go ahead and bake it so that we can see it better. Is it? Let's make it. Here we go. And there is the our, our icosahedron. So you can, as I said, uh, from here on you can integrate this with your normal uh, grasshopper nodes and workflows. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to do more on in Grasshopper and Rhino in the coming few weeks. Thank you.